Welcome to boardshop.co.uk. We're gonna give you an education in the world of the foamy surfboard. Foamy is also known as softboards. Um, it's been an explosion in the number of brands and the availability in the last couple of years. And we're gonna run you through what to look for, what not to look for, um, and why the prices vary and what, what board's gonna suit you best. So, a foamy, called foamies because they're made of foam. They've got a polystyrene core, like a foam core, uh, which is closed cell, micro uh, poly, which is flexible but tough, doesn't absorb water. Then they have this foam layer on the top deck and a, what's called a surlin slick bottom on the, on the base of the board, which is basically like a piece of polythene about that thick, which is tough <coughs> um, and durable. So why would you have a foamy? Foamies are great because they pack in an awful lot of volume whilst remaining stability uh, whilst remaining stable, giving you great stability. They're tough, they last forever, they stand up to punishment, uh, as long as you don't leave them in direct sunlight. Um, and they're great, great fun to surf, whether you're a complete beginner or someone who's a decent surfer looking for fun in small waves. Um, <clears throat> the key thing about the different levels of foamies and the different prices is how much they flex. The cheapy boards, which are thin, lower volume, um, you'll find them on eBay for 50 to 100 quid they flex a lot uh, because they don't have the rigidity and the stiffness and the construction that you need uh, for the board to be able to cruise down the wave without giving under your weight. Now this is key because when a foamy flexes, it loses speed. The key to surfing is speed. So you can kind of get the picture. The more a board flexes, the slower it goes, the less stable it becomes, and the harder it is to actually get longer rides and enjoy yourself. Now here at Board Shop, we don't sell the ones bottom end crappy ones that flex really badly, that will eventually snap in half or just lose their shape and turn into a banana at the first sight of the sunshine in the summer. We only sell the good stuff that we know works because we've all used it and our kids have used it and the stuff that's gonna last. Um, <clears throat> so to recap foamies, high volume, very stable, um, tough, durable and great fun guaranteed for all levels of surfing. So depending on where you're at, when you come to choose a board, the choice is massive. It's quite bewildering when you first um, type foam surfboards into Google and see what comes up. Now, you're gonna be attracted to the cheapest ones first of all, but like I've said, there's good reason to take a bit more time and a considered approach and think about what you actually need. The key features are the quality of the materials, the quality of the foam on the inside that you obviously can't see, the density of the foam on the deck. If it's very open foam, um, it's not going to be durable and it's not going to last you very long. And then the thickness of the, uh, the base on the bottom. If you squeeze a good foamy, like this catch surf one, it feels solid. It doesn't give, you can't dig your fingers in. It feels like it's got a bit of weight to it, which is essential. And it feels like it's got some quality. Again, use price as a guide. If it's sub 100 quid, it's not going to be very good. Maybe for a week's um, summer holiday, it'll be okay for you. But if you want something to last a bit longer, and get you into surfing and help you progress, you're gonna to need to spend a bit more money. Not necessarily 500 quid, but somewhere between that low level and that top level. When you're deciding what to buy, set your budget and work to that budget. There will be something you know, in that price range that will work for you and for your kids and you know, whoever else is gonna use the board. Um, <coughs> sizing is the question we get asked about all the time. Lots of people go to a surf school uh, and have a go on those massively thick things that you can't even get your arm around. Those are designed to get you up and riding white, in the white water, straight line to the beach and get a bit of, bit of confidence and put a smile on your face. The boards we swell um, aren't that thick, they're not that chunky, they're far more um, easy to carry around uh, <clears throat> and more practical to use on a daily basis so the kids can carry them, uh, get them down to the beach it means you don't have to. So size wise, Boards start at about five foot six and they go all the way up to nine foot. For most people um, in the kind of 65 to 80 kilo category, something between seven foot and eight foot is gonna be fine. For kids up until about, my kids up until about 12 or 13 rode six foot six, seven foot boards and they were absolutely fine. As they improve, they go shorter, eventually move on to hard boards. But for your general adult like me, um, 75 kilos, six foot one, Grey eyes, well blue eyes I like to think. Um, I would choose a seven foot six, something like that. 
and that will give you the stability, the ability to catch heaps and heaps and heaps of waves and actually get up and riding along the wave, enjoy it and start to progress and start to improve. So size-wise, all the guides are on the website. Every board we list has an indication on it. There's no 100% correct answer, um, but we aim to put you in the ballpark and get you in the, um, along the right lines. So when, when do you need to move off a of foamy and move on to a hard board? Well, once you're catching lots of waves across the face of the wave and you're trying to turn up and down and you're finding that the foamy you're on is just not responsive enough, it's not turning quickly enough, then it's time to think about a better quality foamy or a hard board. Best bet to give us a ring or drop us an email and we'll point you in the right direction for the next step. Um, brand wise, CBC, California Board Company, Mick Fanning, Surfworks, Ride, Softech, Catsurf. We only, we only sell the brands that do the job, that the boards that are gonna last. And they're all pitched at slightly different um, areas of, of buying a surfboard. Ride, Surfworks, make the best entry level boards there are, no question. If budget's not so much of an issue, Catch Surf, CBC, Softech provide really, really good boards in a whole range of sizes that will last you for ages and ages. Some brands, uh, Softech in particular, make slightly more advanced shapes. You can see that thing there looks like a more pointy surfboard. And they do a variety of models which are aimed at the better surfer who wants to have fun in small waves, as actually do Catch Surf. They're all on the website, you can, you can view them all there. And please, any questions at all, because it can be confusing, um, just get in touch, phone us, email us, and we'll get straight back to you and point you in the right direction. Um, there we are, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you are better informed about what foamy to buy.